Welcome back to Naptown Trading Cards, everybody. We have a hanger pack head-to-head -head challenge today. So we got two of the 2021 Chronicles football and two of the 2021 Select football. And quick breakdown of the video is just going to go over, you know, what each pack has, uh, you know, what we could pull, and then going to pull them and see what we get. And then at the end of the video, make sure you stick around, we're going to go through all the pulls and I'm going to double check everything on eBay and see, you know, roughly what we could get for, you know, kind of the best pulls and just go over a price breakdown of how much we spent for each and roughly, I know it's only two of each, but roughly what you could be looking for. Um, I mostly am doing this because I just really enjoy opening these, not necessarily trying to make a whole lot of money from them because it, it's tricky. It's really hard to a little bit of gamble, just a little bit, but let's go ahead and start with the uh, Chronicles. So you get 30 cards per pack, and the Chronicles, I got both, I got all this at Walmart. The Chronicles was about $16 after tax, and the Select was about $22 after tax. So pretty big price difference there, and you only get 30, 30 cards for the Chronicles. Uh, looking for four Hanger Pack exclusive Stars and Stripes inserts and two Hanger Pack exclusive Green Parallels. i to check on the back. And it looks like you can, get, you can get numbered cards, you can get autographs, and non-base cards, about 15 every pack. So roughly 50% of the cards you get are going to be non-base cards for Chronicles. And let's move on to Select. So, looking for four hanger pack exclusive black and gold prism die cuts per, per pack on average. Love that, on average. <laughs> and looks like, let's see, there are numbered cards. I don't see any autographs, but, but that's fine. And it looks like non-base cards, about seven in every pack. So... About a third of them should be should be non non base. So we'll go ahead and start with Chronicles, and go ahead and drop a comment down below which one you think is going to win. Um, this is my first time opening each one of these products. I have opened a good amount of the Chronicles Football 2021 uh, Blaster packs, but I haven't done these Hanger packs. And for Select, I've done the Value packs, but I haven't done haven't done the Hanger Blaster any of those for select like just the just the value pack. So, that's it. so to get started, and I really do like the Chronicles cards, even the base there. They look pretty good. So we got Miles Sanders, Cortland Sutton, Michael Carter, Matthew Stafford, DeAndre Hopkins, Marshawn Lattimore, Justin Fields rookie card, nice. Travis Etienne, Rashad Bateman, Saquon Barkley, Damian Harris, Kareem Hunt, Aaron Rodgers, Taylor Heineke, that's a nice one for the PC, uh, Patrick Mahomes, that's a nice looking card, it's a cool kind of throwback, uh, New Orleans Saints, Alan Kamara, Jamar Chase rookie card, nice, uh, okay, here we go, first numbered card. We got a Russell Wilson 15 of 49. That's not bad. It's a nice looking card. Uh, looks like we got a Flux rookie card, Trey Lance. Not bad, we'll take it. Looks like we got a green Cole Beasley. We got a green rookie, Javante Williams. That's nice. Micah Parsons. Really hurts being a... Uh, Commander's fan, <laughs> but he's playing well. Uh, Gridiron Kings, Terrace Marshall Jr. Is that a Davis Mills? That is a Davis Mills. We got Devontae Smith, Jace Horn, uh, Zach Wilson, more Rondale, Rashad Bateman, Rookie card and 
An Anthony Schwartz rookie card. Not too bad. Not too bad from the first pack. So, not, not too bad at all so far. And I'll, I'll sleeve these up and, and everything afterwards. Starting off, Nico Collins, Traquan Smith, Jamar Chase rookie card, Tua, Jamonte Williams, Corey Davis, Aaron Donald, got a DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, CD Lamb, Kirk Cousins, Marquise Brown. Kadarius Tony, Miles Garrett, Let's see Jonathan Taylor, Justin Jefferson, Justin Fields, Travis Kelsey, Sam Ellinger, Sam Ellinger rookie, not too bad. Centering's pretty awful at this one, but that's fine. We'll take it. Uh, Green Alvin Kamara. Green Shovel Hubbard, Najee Harris, Kellen Mond, Davis Mills, Great Iron Kings. Let's see, Trevor Lawrence, we'll take it. Travis Etienne, got a Trey Lance, that's a nice card. Felipe Franks. And two more. We got Kadarius Tony and Pat Fearmouth. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. So let's go over the Chronicles real quick. Got Trey Lance, Trevor Lawrence, Chubba Hubbard, Alvin Kamara, Sam Ellinger, Justin Fields, Jamar Chase, Rashad Bateman, Anthony Schwartz. Javante Williams, Trey Lance, uh, the numbered Russell Wilson, 15 of 49, Jamar Chase, and another Justin Fields. So, not too bad. Go ahead and leave these over here. Now let's get going on select. Select does have some really nice looking cards. So we do got a few few die cuts back there. I uh, got a rookie Rondale Moore, Carson Wentz. Oh my god, look at that center. That is horrible. I know I said I haven't opened these before, but that, that can't be right. That's bad. I mean, just look. That's, that's awful. That's really bad. $22. Mont St. Brown, DK Metcalf, Quiddy Pay, Trey Lance, hesitate to even keep it, uh, Kyler Murray, let's see, Tutu Atwell, got a Josh Palmer, it's a pretty cool looking card, Tyree Kill, so these are a little better, these are a lot better, uh, Alvin Kamara, let's see, Marshall Falk, Got a Chris Evans rookie card. Jerome Bettis. Not too bad. Travis Etienne. Okay. Kyle Trask. These are a lot better. These are <laughs> a lot better. Brian Edwards. Tylen Wallace. Brett Favre. And finally, a Josh Palmer. Wow. That start was horrible. I mean, look at these cards. That's... Cut those better with my eyes closed. Wow. That's... That is not what I got last time I opened a select pack. I know it's just a value pack, but... It was not that bad. Wow. That is... 
Okay. These are looking a lot better. Pretty good start. Got a rookie Mac Jones. Oh, Joe Burrow. Damian Brown. Jameis Winston. Amir Smith Marset. Marshall Folk. Chris Evans. Travis Etienne. Anthony Schwartz. Got a turbocharged Kyler Murray. It's a pretty nice looking card. Shaquille Barrett, Hidden Talents. And we got a rookie Zach Davidson. Not bad. Rookie Najee Harris. We'll take it. Ty Johnson, Jets. And Darnell Mooney for the Bears. Brandon Cooks, Des Fitzpatrick, Big Ben, Elijah Farrah Tucker, and Amon Ross St. Brown. Okay. And it looks like, let just run through these real quick. No numbered cards that I saw. It doesn't look like it, but did get a few die cuts, so that's that's always nice to see. Uh, so let's see how we did with select. So Mon St. Brown, the Darnell Mooney. I really like the die cuts. Those are those are really nice. Ty Johnson, Najee Harris, take that. Zach Davidson, Shaquille Barrett. I will put that back in the pile. Turbocharged Kyler Murray, rookie Anthony Schwartz, Chris Evans, Damie Brown, Joe Burrow, Mac Jones, Josh Palmer, Travis Etienne, Jerome Bettis, Chris Evans, Marshall Falk, Alvin Kamara, Tyree Kill, Josh Palmer, and a horribly cut Trey Lance. Wow. That is not not good. Not good at all. But I mean just just judging off, you know, first looks, I'd have to give I have to give this one to I have to give this one to select so far. But like I said, I'll go through double check eBay, see what which each, each of these go for. Um, again, we spent, it's about $16 per pack. So I said about $32 total for the Chronicles. And for the Select, it was uh, about $22, so about $44 total for all that. And I mean, I've opened plenty, plenty of Chronicles, plenty of the Blasters, so I had an idea of what I was getting into. But I mean, we'll take, we'll take the one, uh, the one numbered card. It's not too bad. And let's go ahead. Where's that? Let's find that flux real quick. We'll save that guy too. So, yeah, overall, I mean, select. Kind of wish I got more now. <laughs> At least just for the die cuts, because the rest of those, I mean, I just, I can't get over that. Look at that. And that is not my camera. That is just very poorly cut, very poorly cut card. But yeah, I mean, I like to think we got we got some pretty good pulls. Um, you know, take what we can get. So go and sleeve up some of these. Yeah, and I would say, I mean, it was just it was just a one pack, so I'm not I'm not here to say that that's how all the cards are going to be, because these, you know, I mean that's that's really bad. But that was the first pack, and that's the second pack, so it certainly got a lot better. Um, hopefully, it was just one bad pack, and that's not that's not anywhere near what you're going to get on average. So if that's true, then. It's pretty good. I, I definitely, definitely recommend picking it up. Um, I don't know if 
Target's gonna have any. I checked, my Target didn't have any. I just got them from, from Walmart again for the 22. So, certainly gonna pay a pretty penny for them. But you do get, you do get a lot of nice cards. So, like I said, I'll go ahead and double check on eBay. And I'll get back and we'll see, see what we can get for all these. So I went ahead and ran the numbers on eBay. Went ahead and looked up what we got, and I guess we'll start with Chronicles. So, let's see, yeah, they're in the right order. So we got Chavante Williams, you get maybe $2 if you're lucky. Uh, Jamar Chase, about a dollar. Uh, Trey Lance, up to $5. Uh, so that's that was a pretty good pull. Uh, and then Russell Wilson, I couldn't find any for number to 49. But the closest I found was to 99, and that was going for uh, like two, maybe three dollars. So I figured it'd be safe to say this would go for about three. So I felt like that was a fair, fair number to go with. So in total for Chronicles, uh, we spent thirty-two dollars, so it's about sixteen dollars per pack at Walmart. And if you sold all these and got <laughs> top dollar, <laughs> you would get eleven dollars. So we're down about $21 for Chronicles, or would be, if, if we were to sell them all. Uh, select, there's a few more, but most of them, it was about 50 cents, but I'll uh, start off with the best, Mac Jones. That one was about 250, so not too bad. It's kind of carrying it. Uh, Turbocharge Kyler Murray was about a dollar, and let's see, Ty Johnson was about $1.50 tops, uh, Jerome Bettis, that was about 50 cents. Same with Travis Etienne. And then, looks like Darnell Mooney is about $1.50. Marshall Falk, about $1. Uh, Zach Davidson, about 50 cents. Josh Palmer, about $1. Najee Harris, about 50 cents. Chris Evans, about 50 cents. And then Anthony Schwartz, about 50 cents. So again, most of them were, were about 50 cents. And that leaves us, we spent $44 total, because it was $22 after tax for both packs for the select. And if you sold all these, you get about $12. So a dollar more than uh, the Chronicles, but now you're down $32. So, you know, value-wise, mm -hmm. It's, it's hard to say. Um, you definitely get a great selection with Chronicles. I mean, we did get, you know, the Flex Trey Lance and the number of Russell, Russell Wilson, the Stars and Stripes. So that's, that was nice. That was really helpful. Um, but with Select, there's, I mean, they're just really nice looking cards. <laughs> and the die cuts, uh, it's really cool. I really like Really like what they're doing with that. Um, we did get those just horribly cut and centered centered cards, but you know, you you could you could hit big with select. You really could, um, bigger than you could with Chronicles. But it's a lot more expensive. I mean, it's about six dollars more per pack. So that's that's really kind of up to you to decide, but. I think based on these pulls, I'm probably gonna have to give it to Chronicles. And not just because of the way that some of the select ones were cut, but it's just so expensive. I mean, it's, it's $22. I mean, I could get a blaster pack. I could get a Chronicles blaster pack for $25. So I'd just, based on the value alone, I'd, I'd rather get the, get the Chronicles and get, I believe it's 48 cards, is what they uh, what they go for, or what they come with. Um, but Select does have some really nice cards. They really do. And we didn't get any, any numbered cards or any of the, you know, red and white. I don't even know if they come with it in the hanger packs. But, I mean, final thoughts. Definitely giving it to Chronicles, and I would give them, I'd, 
probably give them like a seven and a half out of 10. They do have a lot of variety, you know, and these, these cards are cool. I really like the precious acetate. I mean, these are really just a more durable card. I don't know. It's pretty cool. So probably seven and a half and select, you know, I'm probably going to give them a seven and a half as well, but, and I'm only saying that because I'm just hoping that these, see if I can find, that this was just, I got unlucky. So I'm sure if I got another one, it wouldn't be that way. So that, that's why I'm, that's why I'm giving them the same grade, give them about seven and a half. But as far as if I think you should go buy them, Chronicles, yeah. I mean, it's 16 bucks. You get a decent amount of cards, why not? But select, I'd say no. Thank you all so much for watching. Comment down below which product you think won today's head-to-head -head battle. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new content.